Hi, and welcome to Amalgam Nation Presents World of Lorecraft, the Titanic Creations Edition. Titanic Watchers Our guardians, also known as Keepers, they are mysterious, gigantic humanoids, likely Titan constructs. They appear to have been tasked by the Titans long ago with guarding the creations of the Titans on Azeroth. Most of them can be found in Northrend guarding Titan artifacts. The Aspects Aspect of Life Ernar, the Titan patron of all life, gave a portion of her power to the Red Leviathan, Alexstrasza. Ever after, Alexstrasza would be known as the Life Binder, and she would work to safeguard all living creatures within the world. Due to her supreme wisdom and limitless compassion for all living things, Alexstrasza was crowned the Dragon Queen and given dominion over her kind. Aspect of Earth Kazgaroth, Titan Shaper and the Forger of the World bestowed some of his vast power upon the mighty black worm Neltharion. The great-hearted Neltharion, known afterwards as the Earth Warder, was given dominion over the earth and the deep places of the world. He embodied the strength of the world and served as Alexstrasza's greatest supporter. Aspect of Magic Morganon, the Titan lore keeper and master magician, granted the Bloom Dragon Malagos a portion of his vast power. From then on, Malagos would be known as the Spell Weaver, the guardian of magic and hidden arcanum. Aspect of Time Amon Thul, the High Father of the Pantheon, bestowed a portion of his cosmic power upon the massive bronze dragon Nosdormon. High Father empowered Nosdormon to guard time itself and police the ever-spinning pathways of fate and destiny. The stoic, honourable Nosdormon became known as the Timeless One. Aspect of Nature After blessing the Red Leader, Aenar also blessed Alexstrasza's younger sister, the lied green dragon Ysera with a portion of nature's influence. Ysera fell into an eternal trance, bound to the waking dream of creation, Known as the Dreamer, she would watch over the growing wilds of the world from her verdant realm, the Emerald Dream. Races Erthen Erthen are stony proto-beings similar to dwarves that were created by the Titans to help shape the world of Azeroth. They have at least two physical forms, those primarily seen in Uldaman and those primarily seen in Ulduar. The history of the Erthen and their transformation into the races known as Trogs and Dwarves can be found recorded in the discs of Norganon and Muldaman. Mechanome Mechanomes are small, gnome-like clockwork creatures who are found in Northrend. Stonekeeper A stonekeeper appears to be an animated stone statue. A stonekeeper has a humanoid body, although it is otherwise nearly featureless. Tolvir. The Tolvir are a race of stone-like cat people created by the Titans that originate and dwell in the zones of Uldum. Virkul, pronounced Vrykul, are a race of heavily Norse-themed half-giant warriors native to the Howling Fjord located in southeastern Northrend. Dwarf. Dwarves are short and stout creatures mostly inhabiting Kasmodan in the Eastern Kingdoms. They are shorter than humans, but taller than gnomes, taking advantage of their size when possible and relying on their robustness and strength when not. Human Humans, a.k.a. mankind or humanity, in Warcraft are a resilient species native to the world of Azeroth. Many live in the Eastern Kingdoms, once known as Azota. Lastly, we have the Giants. There are three different Giants, and I'll go into... A little go into it a little bit about them so first up we have the mountain giant birthed from the stone the mountain giants were created to shape the world's mountains once they roamed everywhere crafting the craggy peaks and carving the valleys of Azeroth now few remain who carry out their work sea giants Titans created sea giants to dredge the oceans and to serve as guardians of Azeroth's coastlines and oceans and the fierce giants act as protectors of the waters even now. Storm Giant They are impressive. More than 30 feet tall and powerfully built, storm giants are capable of summoning small storms. Myths say the titans created them. 
Thank you for listening. Next week I will be going into more detail about the earthen, followed by the mechanomes and stonekeepers, Tolver, and so on. There's not much written about Titanic Watchers, so I pretty much already covered everything that's there except for individual Titanic Watchers, which I will save for further down the line. For the moment, I'm going to concentrate on the races and the groups that they fall into. Same goes for the aspects. I will not do anything more about the aspects under this category, since the aspects are both dragons and titanic creations, so I'm going to save them for when I do dragon kin. Once again, thank you for listening, and as always, remember, play the game and game to play.